Hi everybody, this is Stephanie from Razzle Dazzle Rabbitry and Yarns LLC. In today's video, we are going to shear uh, the rest of Claire. We started shearing her just a teeny bit a couple days ago and then we have to complete it. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell, that way you get all of our Angora Rabbit videos. We release videos on Mondays and Saturdays and sometimes in between. So we have our scissors with us, we have Claire the Bunny with us, and we are going to get shearing. Her leg wool is a little, a little shorter than what I would like to see, but that's okay. We're just using a pair of scissors to shear her. Sometimes the rabbits will flip, and that's okay. We just set her down like this, and we don't hold her, um, we don't pinch her ears or anything like that. Just lightly hold her in place, and if she wants to flip up, she can flip up. We don't, don't prevent her from moving. kind of offer some guidance for her. We're not cutting directly down to the skin. We're letting, um, letting a little bit of wool stay on there because it isn't, it isn't warm at night here. So she will need She'll need a little bit of wool kept on her. This is all baby coat coming off. So it's pretty, pretty thin wool, thin, fine, I guess is the word I'm looking for. The inside is rather fine as well, fine wool, inside of the leg. These scissors, <clears throat> excuse me, these scissors are sharp. Excuse me. I'm just trimming whatever section she offers me, starting with her uh, her back area, back legs. Some of the wool we can save and use. Some of it's a little too short for me to comfortably spin because I spin my wool by hand.
can see crimp, crimpy wall. That's wonderful to see. She's got her little leg tucked up. We want to be careful by her tail. We always we use our razzle dazzle method for shearing our bunnies. And if you want to learn about that method, we wrote it down in a book. And there's a paper paperback version available, and there's an ebook available either on Amazon or if you want to go to RazzleDazzleRabbitTree.com. So we're trimming up her tail right now, and she's doing a really great job. But if she wants to flip over, that's okay. We'll let her. Tails are an area of the rabbit to be careful of trimming because when you get towards the tip of the tail, if you have a rabbit that has matting, it is possible to mistake the actual tail itself, the skin and the bone for a mat if you're not careful. So you can actually, you have to pay a bit of attention. Don't want to cut, cut into the, the, the bunny at all. So we find the end of the tail and trim, just trim the wool. Can always be a little A little bit extra stress in the tail area, but that's okay. Looks, whoop, hi, what a good little bunny. In between her legs here, she's got a bit of, a little bit of debris. The wool started getting a little bit long for her. We kind of check her out. She's got a nice, nice clean tummy, nice clean area. That's what we want to see. Just a nice, nice good underbelly area, nice and clean. There's thin skin on the belly, so we have to be careful not to cut that. Nobody wants to be cut by scissors. So taking our time is important. There's no rush. Our rabbits are our favorite friends. Ooh, sorry, hun. A little bit of matting there. Let's see. What other areas? Let's check your little toenails. Yep, they'll need to be just a small trim on those toenails. That's all we need today.
kind of holding the this bunny is kind of holding the leg close, so we won't we won't trim. If that's what the bunny is doing, we won't trim. We'll give it a break. You're such a pretty little little bunny. We're getting up on the bunny. We're traveling all the way up the tummy. Whoop, sorry. Traveling up the tummy underneath the armpit. Doesn't the bunny doesn't like when I press the arms a little bit up. We're gonna go on the side of this arm then, because that's the side. That's what the bunny's given us. So then that's what we'll trim. The bunny turns to the side, gives us the side, that's fine. Then that's what part of the bunny wheel trim up a little bit. We work with the bunny. And we just keep trimming. So if you've noticed so far, not one accidental cut to the bunny, only cutting wool, just being careful, just trimming away. That's okay. That's what we do. Trim, trim. Just careful, just quiet. So there's some matting underneath the front arms. That's common. Think about where the areas of friction are. Where's the areas of movement? Well, under the armpits, it's a common area. Common area for matting. So, because this is because this is the area the bunny is giving us, then that's the area we cut. I wish I could. Uh, wish I would cut from the. Hi there, bunny. Be careful with those scissors. Um, cut from the back to the front. That's sorry, honey. I don't mean to scare you. It's my preferred method. Start from the end of the bunny. I prefer going up. This is just a little too short. This belly wheel is just a little too short for spinning. But we get the get the belly trimmed up first. Watch for watch for the nipples on your rabbit. Watch for folds of skin. All that all that to watch out for. We're careful with our Careful with our rabbits. We don't want to get cut. They don't want to 
become cut. We take our time. Hi. Such a good little bunny. I listen to the sound that my scissors make that helps tell me what uh, what I'm cutting into. Am I cutting into thick wool? Am I cutting thin pieces of wool? The sound of the scissors tells me a lot. And I use the sound of the scissors to help not just the feel of the actual clip, but the, the sound as well. Hey honey, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. We're getting up, getting up close. Closer to, what beautiful front paws. Getting up closer to between the front paws. I have to be careful. A lot, a lot of vital parts of the bunny under there. Hi, look at how pretty you are. Hi, oh, beautiful crimp right through here. You're such a beautiful bunny. Very nice. And you have a wonderful, wonderful personality. Nice and calm. So, keep on trimming, snip, snip. I think I have this terrible habit of calling this rabbit a she. It has a girl's name. This one's actually the buck. I believe. Hi. Flipped over, ready for a break? Good. You can see new wool growth coming in right here, the adult coat coming in, that darker color in the wool. Beautiful, beautiful, nice wool. No dander, no big spots of dander. That's great, that's nice and healthy. Good job. Beautiful, beautiful. We just let the bunny take a break. Nicely pet. Nice banding going on in the in the colors of the wool. Nice crimp is visible towards whole thing. Could be a bit better. I'd like to see a bit better crimp. I can lift up and see this is where we've trimmed to. And lift up and see. I have a bit more to trim on that side. Good job little bunny. Good job. But that's where we'll stop for now. Bunny wants to take a break, so we'll give the bunny a break. Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you're interested in shearing your bunny, learning how to do the razzle-dazzle shearing method on your Angora rabbit, check us out on Amazon and razzledazzlerabbitry.com.